This is a tutorial on creating artificial motion blur. You want to start off with a photo that is perfectly crisp, nice and sharp, foreground, middle ground, background. It is a stop action shot. What we're going to do is make it look like it's motion blur. So you take that layer, the first layer, and duplicate it. Hit OK. Take the new layer here and go to filter blur and you want to go to motion blur so under motion blur if you pull this to the side you can change the direction of the blur you want to make sure that this direction is going in the same direction of your action and then you can control how far it looks like that actions moving so I'm gonna go to probably uh, 40 hit OK now what I'm gonna do is add a mask click the mask button here and get my black soft paintbrush make sure it's completely zero hardness and change my size of my brush and what I want to be in focus here is uh, probably just like the front and maybe yeah just the front of the car so change the opacity of the brush you don't want it full power so we'll go about 25 percent just click and drag right across there click and drag again and I think I'll click a couple times and drag it through so just that. Now I'm going to blend it out. I'll go out just a little bit. Because you want it to be believable. You don't want it to just all of a sudden just get blurry. That looks pretty good. That's how you do it. Look at my mask now. I have uh, dark and then it goes to gray and then to white. And that's showing the different layers. I have it set at 25%, but the more I click and drag, the more I'm applying that. So that's why it's getting darker and darker there. That's how you do it. If you want to make adjustments now, you go to your adjustment layer, you can change the brightness and contrast, and it's going to apply it to all the layers. Everything underneath this brightness layer here will be affected now, so it'll be consistent.